Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at BZ Miner. BZ Miner is a piece of software that allows you to mine popular cryptos with your GPU. Some of the supported algorithms is Ravencoin, Noxia, Ergo, Caspa, Zill, and many more. I'll make sure I link them in the description below so you can explore it further. It's also optimized for dual mining for specific coins, which includes ETC or Ergo in combination with Caspa or Radiant and a few other coins. I'll list them on the screen right now. BZ Miner works on NVIDIA or AMD GPUs, and we're going to be using an NVIDIA GPU at 1660 Ti in this example and we'll be mining caspa so let's take a look at setting it up so i'm going to go over to bzminer.com i've been told by a lot of people that this is the miner to use if you know of a better mining tool to use besides bz miner let me know in the description below so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to download it so we have the download section right over here uh, you can see that there is a linux version uh, and a windows version we're on windows 10 so i'm going to go ahead and download the windows version and it's right over here it's 32 megs in size now one thing to note when you're in windows especially windows 10 and you're mining windows might flag your mining software as potentially a virus and we want to make sure that we clear that issue first so on my desktop i'm just going to be making a new folder and i'm going to call it mining and I'm going to add an exception inside Windows Security. So I'm going to open up my Windows Security folder. I'm going to go into Virus and Threat Protection. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down. And then I'm going to go into Virus and Threat Protection Settings. And click on that. And we're going to scroll all the way down here. And we're going to look for exclusions. And we're going to add and remove an exclusion. If you get a prompt, just say yes to that. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select Folder. OK, and here it is. It's in my desktop. So I'm selecting this folder select folder and now it's in here so anything that i extract and put inside this mining folder it'll be excluded from the windows security software and it won't get flagged so i'm gonna go ahead and close that i'm gonna open up my miner show in folder okay so i'm inside the folder i have the bz miner software right over here i'm just gonna drag and drop it and put it into my desktop folder there we go so I'll close that and i'll just double click okay here we go and i'm gonna double click on that so here's all the files that we're going to need. The most important one is going to be this executable file. If you do not have this bzminer.exe and it's missing, it might be because Windows removed it because it saw it as a threat. So you will require that. The next important file is going to be the config text right over here. And that's the one that we're going to be editing. So I'm going to double click on that and it's going to open it up inside Notepad. And here it is. So this might look like a lot, but uh, don't get intimidated by it. We're not going to actually be using majority of this section. We're just going to be focusing up here at the top and we're going to be just modifying some information in here. The first thing that we're going to be modifying is the algorithm. So inside the quotation marks, make sure you don't remove the quotation marks. We're going to type in Caspa. So quote Caspa end quote. The next part is going to be the wallet. Again, we're not removing any of the quotations. We're just going to be removing this section right over here. And the wallet address is going to be the one that we have just created right over here. Uh, we just have to click on this copy button and it's going to take this full string for us, including the Caspa. Now we're going to go back into our configuration file and I'm just going to paste that in. And there we go. Again, we did not remove the quotations. And the next thing that we're going to do is the URL section right over here. This is where we're going to be indicating the pool that we're going to be using. I'm going to go over into this. So here is the address that I'm going to be using. I'm using acc-pool.pw. Now, this may not be the best one that's out there. I've seen a lot of people use this. Uh, it seems like they're having more success success over here. But if you know something better, please let me know in the comments below. Share it with the community. Uh, just in case anybody else is watching this video, they can try other options. So we have a bunch of different uh, servers right over here. And you're going to want to pick the one that's closest to you. So I'm in Canada, so I'm going to use a Canadian one over here. But you've got a couple of German ones, the South US, uh, Russia, Hong Kong, over there, Buenos Aires. So we're going to highlight this section right over here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back over. And right over here, I'm just going to paste it in. And we also want to change the pool. So it has 4444. We got the port over here as 16061. So I'm going to paste that in. And next, we have the username. It's not really required, but you can go ahead and type in anything over here. I'll just put in crypto jar. And what we want to do is go ahead and file and save it. All right, now that we have that saved, we can go ahead and X that out. I'm also going to go ahead and minimize that and close it out of the way. And the next thing that I'm going to do is just double click on the BZ Miner executable file, double click on it. And we'll get a warning message like this. We're just going to say more info, run anyway. We get a message from the firewall that we want to allow access through it. So there we go. And here is the BZ Miner. It's up and running. And it might take a few seconds for this to start mining, but we'll get some information here. As you can see, it sees my NVIDIA 1660 Ti uh, has some statistical information here. And once we get some blocks, it'll pop up and we'll start mining. Okay, and while it's mining, I'm just going to open up the folder here. 
we can go over to the index file. If we go ahead and open that up, we'll get a dashboard. Now this is new. I haven't seen this with many other miners, uh, but it has a built-in dashboard. So then you can go ahead and here and you can see the hash rate of your miner and statistical information as you're up and running. It's a very useful tool so you can see the progress as it goes along. And that's how you do it. That's how you mine Caspa on a Windows 10 PC using BZ Miner. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to include any other miners or pools that you might be using for the community to check out. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.